What's up, guys? Dustin Yu here, back with the NHL 13 GM mode with the Vancouver Canucks. <clears throat> and I got something in my throat. Anyways, last time we did the draft, the 2014 draft, and we drafted Sam Reinhardt first overall, and then we got some other dudes. Um, obviously, we got kicked out the first round of the St. Louis Blues, which kind of sucked, but we're at the resign phase. We'll see how much we can get through and possibly do free agency I'm not sure just yet we'll see see how it goes I kind of want to look at my lines and see what I want to do um, yeah we got some guys who are up and coming um, but yeah I'm not sure what exactly we're gonna do uh, go to contract because uh, there is potential to move around some guys and whatnot so Okay, so we have to sign both Sedins. Uh, Huberto is good for another year. Again, I don't know why he starts at 3.195 million. Doesn't make sense to me. Um, these guys are all good basically for this year. Jan Suave, David Weiss, or Dale Weiss, sorry. Yannick Hansen, Schroeder is good. Um. All right, so let's look at our depth right now. So centers, we got Sedin. Gonch is going to be a pretty solid second liner now. Uh, Schroeder, I might get Schroeder into the lineup. Playmaker. Yeah, I'm thinking I might get Schroeder into the lineup. Probably keep Malhotra. What are Schroeder's faceoffs like, actually? 60. Eh, his faceoffs not that great. Uh, Malhotra is like 88 face-offs, yeah. He's got a good face-offs. <clears throat> and Lapierre takes way too many penalties, but he's got an 80 face-off. So I think I'm going to make him fourth line. Um, and Malhotra will probably end up third line. And maybe Schroeder on the wing or something. Not quite sure yet. Um, we also have McKinnon and Reinhardt. Um... <clears throat> now there's a big debate there. I don't know exactly what I should do. Obviously, they're both going to be great players. Uh, 60 faceoffs. And Reinhardt is 60 faceoffs as well. They're pretty much almost the exact same right now at this point. <clears throat> um, yeah, so I'm kind of debating what I should do with these guys. I almost feel like another year in the... QM would be good for Nathan McKinnon. I think Reinhardt is from uh, the dub. I think he's from the dub. Yeah. I feel like another year for in the uh, CHL would be good for both of them. But yeah, I'm not a hundred percent sure right now what I want to do. Left wing, obviously Sedin. Uh, Huberto is playing first line anyways. Uh, David Booth. So I mean they're. There's the option of getting rid of David Booth and then um, maybe getting both of our rookies playing, like McKinnon and uh, and uh, Sam Reinhardt, possibly. So if we traded uh, Booth, that would give us 4.25 million plus. We could get both of them in the lineups, which is, I mean, a possibility. Burroughs is kind of useless. I don't, I don't even know what to do with him anymore. I think I'm gonna try and get rid of him. Raymond, he's a pretty solid like third third liner, I would say. Yeah, like he's not gonna get any worse, so I don't think, anyways. Uh, but then we need like a fourth liner, right? Because I mean, Bill Sweat could obviously play fourth line. I think. <clears throat> yeah. All right. So right wing, we got uh, Huberto would be first line right wing. Hmm. Yannick Hansen. So yeah, that's like third and fourth liners right there. So we don't really have... <clears throat> if I was to get rid of Booth, um, I could put McKinnon and Reinhardt in the top two lines. Um, I'd probably put McKinnon on the first line maybe with... Um, see, that's the trouble. I don't know what I would do there. Maybe I'd put uh, Henrik Sedin's second line. Yeah, we could always put Henrik Sedin's second line and then put 
McKinnon first line, like center, and because uh, then we'd have. Oh, uh, but then that'd be kind of a pointless to have Gaunch so good, right? Um, mm, Gaunch two way forward. Yeah, I mean Gaunch could play wing though. We could put Gaunch on the wing with uh, Henrik, and if we got rid of Booth, we could put Reinhardt there. Obviously, that's something I'd like to try in the preseason first before I actually just go and trade away Booth. So, something that, yeah, I think I'm going to do that maybe. We'll see. I mean, Henrik's still 33. It's not like he's getting worse. And uh, when we did Colorado, I played him second line, and even though he was a first line, he still he still stayed at 90 and had a good season. So, uh, yeah, I don't think he's going to get any worse at all. I mean, he had a great season last year. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's definitely something we could do. Uh, defense, we're pretty much set, I think. We have Edler, Hamhuis, Ekman, Larson, Murray, Bieksa, Pollock, Oland, I want to trade. <clears throat> Just to free up some cap base. I mean, that 3.6 is kind of a lot for a guy that's not even going to be playing in the NHL. Um, especially when we don't have any injuries on or anything. So, yeah, that's pretty good. Goalie-wise, Schneider. I think I'm going to stick with Schneider for now. Lack, I'm going to re-sign. Um... Maybe just keep this guy too. I don't know. <clears throat> we'll see what kind of players there are for, uh, I guess, or what kind of goalies there are for free agents. All right, so let's start resigning. So we got Daniel Sedin. Obviously, we want to keep. Oh my God. Okay. What? Eight point nine. Holy shoot. What is this? What does he want? Eight point nine. I think that's like the max, almost. I feel like that might be the max. So that's like 16 million right there, <clears throat> which really won't hurt us that bad because all the other guys aren't even worth that much. So we can easily sign him, or both of them, sorry. Yeah, I don't think that's not really going to hurt us. Um, yeah, because that'd still leave us with 8 million to work with, so yeah, that's not a big deal. Obviously, I'm going to try and get them down a little bit, maybe to 7 million. Because they want five years, so let's try seven million for five years. Um, I think they put into account that you still offer them the same length, so they like that, and then I think they would take down the seven million. But I don't know if they'll drop to seven million. I really don't think it'll work. But oh, Daniel only wants four years, eh? That's weird. I think they'd want the same same Z's because they're twins, huh? Uh, next next up, I'll offer them 7.5, so we'll see what happens. So we got to keep at least 17 million for the Sedin brothers. Um, Hanson, I'll keep. Uh, let's try 1.5 for him. 1.5. Jocelyn. How old is he? He's 27. I'm surprised he's not getting better. He's a three and a half star. Uh, that's fine. He's a two way. Uh, Dale Weiss will be playing for us, so he's probably gonna want. Oh wow, 2.1. Are you serious? Let's try 1.6, I guess. 1.6. That seems fair. Uh, 1.6. Kusa. He wants a two way. That's good. Uh, two and a half stars. Suave. Jan Suave. Top 60. Oh, he wants. Yeah, but he'll be in the AHL, so. Uh, let's get him down to one million. One million. Polisek, I don't know if I want to sign him. These guys are two and a half stars, so uh, might sign that guy. Reinhardt definitely gonna sign. It's not really a question. 
Uh, three years contract to a cape. Looks good. Schaefer, I think we're gonna sign three and a half stars. It's not bad. Uh, yeah, that's good. I don't know when I drafted him. Was that the? Was that one of the guys I drafted in the first round? First round. Oh, it was too. Okay, cool. Cool. Um. Nylander was the other guy. I'll sign him. He's three and a half stars. <laughs> might as well. Never know. He might get better. Especially if I play him in the HL because he's 19. Um, yeah, he might turn out all right. Uh, Nikolai Burmistrov. I'll sign him. Because if I give these guys lots of ice time in the HL, I think they'll get better. Like if I put them on like the top line or whatever. Um, and that's pretty much it. Then there's just goalies. Uh, those guys are good. Palazes. Uh, goalies. So, Lack, I want to re-sign. For now. Oh, he wants a 2A. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I'm good with that. Um, Jonathan, I th well, he's a 3-star, so... Worst case, I could always trade him. He wants a 2A, too, so... Uh, I think that's about it. And then there's just the odd random guy that I didn't resign. So we're going to advance a day, see what we sign, and go from there. Can't believe the CD didn't ask for so much, though. They're probably going to decline that. I'd like if they didn't, but <laughs> I'm going to say they probably will decline. Seven million, still a lot of money, but uh, dream. Decide to reject, yeah. Decide to reject, okay. Yannick Hansen rejected, okay. Yep, reject. Wow. Decided to really, holy crap. Dream of mine, honor, easy decision. <clears throat> all right, so we have. Oh, we didn't use like any money at all. Twenty three, okay. So I'm going to try to get them to 7.5. Oh, wow. He went down to 7.845. I like how they actually, like, negotiate. They're like, you know what? I was asking a little bit too much, but... Okay, let's try 7.5. That's reasonable. Oh, he wants seven years now. Holy hell. Oh, wow. He changed his, I, he changed his mind. He wants seven years. Wow. He wants six years now. He still wants 8.1, though. Offer them 7.5. That's reasonable. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty reasonable. It's only 600,000. You don't need that much money. Come on, man. Uh, Andrew Ebbett, I don't think I tried to sign that guy or that guy. Uh, I tried to sign Weiss. Uh, what did I try? One point, or I tried 1.5, I think. Okay, let's go down to 1.7. 1.7. That's pretty realistic. Uh, Suave. I think he wanted 1.5 or something. 1.3. You know what? That's. I'll do 1.3 even. That's that's pretty reasonable. It's not crazy at all. Uh, okay, let's just go another day. Do 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 do. Yeah, those like those are all pretty reasonable. Except obviously the the Sedins wanted a little bit much, but do, 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 do. your GM rep has gone up. Okay, cool. Easy decision, easy decision. Reject. Wow. Easy decision. So just uh Weiss is being a douche. Oh, I didn't try use Hansen either. Oops. Let's try and get Hansen here fast. 1.96. What did I try and get him down to? 1.5? Uh, let's give him 1.75. That's like 200,000. Why is... Uh, you no wonder there's a damn lockout, you freaking greedy bastards. <laughs> 1.8. 1 1.8, that's reasonable. You're a third line forward, you don't need that much money. Hell, I'd play fuck. I'd play third line in the NHL for freaking... Not like a hundred thousand dollars. Um, might as well sign these guys too. 
Yeah, Andrew Ebbett. I'll sign the three star guys. I don't know about the other guys. Full Patty. Yeah, we'll sign him. 2A. Uh, I'm not sure about these dudes. Uh, like, they're. Uh, I don't think they're going to get any better. Obviously, I could use them for trade bait, maybe. Um. Because their val I mean, their value will be a bit higher because they're younger, but they're only two and a half stars. So I don't know. I don't know what I want to do with those guys. Let's advance another day here. Easy decision. Easy decision. Still rejected. Holy crap, Weiss. What is your problem, bro? He's not even wiggling on his asking price either. Not at all. I tried 1.75. 1.85. Ridiculous, bro. 1.9. 1.85. Yeah, okay. I'll try that. I don't know what his problem is. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to sign these guys. Did I sign all my goalies? Yes. Goalies are good. These guys I'm unsure of. I could use them to trade. Signed all the good rookies. Um, and yeah, I don't know if I want to sign these guys. I don't think they're even worth it. Maybe this guy because he's a 72. <clears throat> and he's an alright AHL player. These guys aren't really that good at all, though. Yeah, I'll sign him because he'd be like a decent AHL player. That's fine. As for the other two guys, I don't even know. Like, they're 66. I could easily just sign players for that. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm not going to worry about those two. Just let them go. Just let them go. Holy crap. Still rejects. Oh my god. That's insane. You know what? I'm going to tender a qualifying offer because he's being a jerk. Or should I just sign him? Oh, wow. 1.95. Literally, that's as low as I'm going right now. And we'll release these guys. Release and release. Uh, forward centers, left wing. All right, so let's just look at our depth route fast. So, <coughs> so Dean Gonch, we got that. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we got some left wings. One. So that's like I'd say our top whatever left wings. Two, and then we got these guys will be a third and fourth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I don't think Schaefer will be able to play here. So we have like five right wings that are eligible. Defense wise, we have one, two, three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. I think we should be good for players in the AHL. Not a hundred percent, but I feel like we should be okay. Uh, all right, one more simulate to this day. Oh wow! Finally, thanks, bud. All right, so everybody signed. Uh, 19 minutes. We'll just we'll take a look in free agency. What see what there is. Again, I don't. Yeah, I'm not really sure if I want to do anything really. Who's T Yokinen? The other other Yokinen brother. Um uh, yeah. Would it be I don't think there's a Tuomo Yokinen. Not that I know of. There's U C and Oli. Unless they had a really young, younger brother. But anyways, um <clears throat> yeah, like I'd almost say we're set for players right now. Continue. That's cool. Uh, sign for agents. Let's just see what there is first. Uh, Phil Kessel. Uh, roll first line. 
he'd be a good player to have, but we don't have room for him. And I don't have cap space for him either. Um, yeah, Phil Kessel, I mean, he's a great player. <clears throat> I'd love to get him. But at the same point, I think he's still a restricted free agent. I feel like he is. Let's see, UFA is. Oh, he's not. Wow, okay. Um, however, we do have three first-line players already, and we want to get McKinnon and uh, Sam Reinhardt playing. So really, Phil Kessel, there's no room for him, even though he is a good player. <clears throat> Chris Kunitz, we don't really need. We don't really need. Hodgman. I could use a, third a better third-line center. My centers are pretty good, though. Uh, Mitchell... He's a D. We don't need D. <clears throat> Eusalius. See what their potential ratings are. Lucas Sutter. Age 20. Three and a half stars. Um, UFAs, eh? Three and a half stars. It's not bad. That's like the be other best player I could get. I think I'll sign him. Give him a little, little bit more. A couple other teams interested. I mean, it's a two-way contract. It doesn't even matter. Just, I mean, we could probably just oh, max him out, I think. Yeah, we'll just max him out. Just max him out on a two-way. That's good. Mario Kemp. Um... Doo -doo 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 -doo. <clears throat> yeah, there's not a whole lot of other guys, really. Nope. Uh, what about goalies? Thomas Vokun. Ooh. 7.19 million. He's 37. So he might retire in a year or two. Possibility. I mean, Schneider's not getting any better, really. He's been at an 84 for two years now. <sighs> it's not like we had a bad year last year still, and we didn't even have that great of a team. I mean, our team's better. Um, but Thomas Vokun, definitely potential to get a first round, I would say. We could probably get a first round pick for him. Uh, other teams interested in none. Uh, so we'll put him up to 7.3. And we'll stick with that. I can't afford Phil Kessel even if I wanted to just sign him. Uh, yeah, we'll just go five days here. What do you mean? I couldn't go any higher, Lucas Sutter. Jerk, I couldn't go any higher. I offered you what I could. <laughs> okay. Come on, Thomas Volkun. I want to trade you. I want to trade you. Oh, yep, nice. Okay, so we got Thomas Vokun. Uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Trade negotiation, trading block. We're gonna put him on the block and hope for wants first round picks, like so. We. I guess one is a goalie starter. Uh, elite goalie. Backup. Um, and I'd like a third line forward. 
we got Booth. I don't want Gaunch on the block. Burrows. Burrows and... Uh, oh, I want to get rid of Olin too. Shoot. Okay, well, let's take him off the block for now. We'll put... Um, that goalie I just signed. What's his name? Vokun. Surplus. We're not trading first round picks. Don't really have second line players. We have third line players. Just forward eight, 17 to 23. Okay. Defense. Okay, yeah, we'll keep it like that. There we go. Alright, so looks like we're good to go. I'm just going to sim. Uh, to the 13th, <clears throat> and we'll see what we get for offers, for trades. I'd like to get rid of Oland, Vokun, hopefully we can get a first round for. And who else did I have on there? Uh, Burrows, I'd like to get rid of him. Burrows for sure, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Schaefer and Friesen for a first. Decline. I don't want Schaefer. To, I don't want to get rid of Schaefer at all. Thanks for wasting my time, guys. Do, 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 do. So yeah, I th I'm feeling that's a good idea. We'll start with McKinnon and uh, Sam Reinhart, first and second line. Shift around so the Sedins are kind of split up. And we'll put Gaunch on the wing on the second line. I'll probably put... Yeah, I'd say the plan would be to put... Uh, first line would be... First round... No. First line would be like left wing Daniel Sedin, center McKinnon. And then right wing would be uh, Huberto. Second line I would put left wing probably... Either Gaunch or Sam Reinhardt. Center Henrik Sedin. And then obviously right would be Reinhardt or G Gaunch again. Um, and we'll see how they do in the preseason. Maybe start them for the first couple of games. Uh, we'll just throw Bur or Booth down to the third line. See how that works out. And, yeah. So we'll do that for the preseason. And Ole Okunin for Raymond and Friesen. No, I like how they're trading me people that I don't want to get rid of. Absolutely not. Stupid. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> players under contract 45 and then maybe we'll sign just some HL guys just to fill out our roster I'm not sure obviously I'm going to take a look and see what we're what our HL roster is like um, I'm still kind of on the fence what to do with Palazes do I want to start him in the NHL or because I don't want to bomb the season you know mm -hmm. um First round for Schaefer and Gilbert. Why do they want Schaefer? I don't get it. Uh, yeah, like, I feel like if I put Palazes in the net, I'm pretty much blowing a season. Uh, which I don't want to do because we're kind of on the fence right now with the owner. We might even get fired. I don't know. Um, I mean, we got as many wins as they wanted, but our, our playoff performance was not good at all. Uh, but you never know. If we can redeem ourselves with the Stanley Cup this year, then obviously that would be nice. I don't want to trade Schaefer, you bastards. Stop bothering me about it. Maybe it's because I have uh, surplus as the 17 to 23 forward, two and a half stars. Although I think Schaefer is a three and a half star, so I don't know why they're asking for that. Kind of rude, if you ask me. Wow, this simming takes forever. Come on, maybe I'll just let it go through July, and then I'll just end it. A first round for Nylander and Friesen, no thanks. I want them to get better. Um, yeah, I'll just let it go through July, because we're already at like 30 minutes, so. Um, and then, yeah, the plan would be just to... Um, I'll, if I do any, tr if I do make any trades, I'll just tell you guys the start of the next video. 
Uh, because just, yeah, the simming is way too long, so. Mm -hmm. Ole in for Raymond and Houston. Nope. Ah, whatever. Yeah, I'll just end it here. So if, if I make any trades, I'll let you guys know at the start of next video. And so, yeah, pretty successful offseason so far, I would say. Um, and you never know. We might keep Vokun, depending. We'll see. Anyways, we'll uh, do the uh, team assembling and preseason next video. Thanks for watching, guys.